Hey, Libra. All right, so this is going to be the bonus read. Thank you guys for being patient with me. Um, you know, life happens sometimes. I meant to upload all three of the readings Sunday, but that was impossible. I was driving, driving all day. <laughs> anyway, um, let's see. Remember, guys, this could be energies coming in. Does not have to be for the remainder of November, as we are hitting the end of November. This could just be um, actions or uh, predictions for what's coming in. All right. So if you feel like it's resonating um, or you feel like this is you that I'm talking about, take the messages. If not, please do not force them to fit. All right. All right. Libra. Libra. We have the elephant. Pisces just got the elephant. And we have the hummingbird. That's funny. You and Pisces got the elephant. So the, the elephant speaks about, that's like a maternal energy. So you guys could be mothers watching this. Um, very family oriented, very focused on your children. Uh, very loyal, kind, compassionate. Just having like that maternal energy. The hummingbird speaks about um, doing things with grace, you know, looking beautiful as you obtain your goals. Like there's some sort of goal, some sort of, um, uh, what do you call that? Some sort of things that you guys are trying to accomplish could be a new job, uh, new habits, you know, a uh, new way of thinking, new perspectives, uh, but maintaining grace and maintaining um, a positive attitude about it. Uh, mutual energy is the alligator. So the alligator moves with intention. Like I just said, you guys have uh, an intention that you set forward for yourself. And you guys are moving towards that intention, towards those goals. Um, receiving information uh, through uh, empathic ways. You guys could be intuitive. Um, having foresight, seeing beyond what is obvious. So it's like you guys have some sort of um connection uh, a very strong connection let me put it that way a very strong connection to your intuition um and you guys are feeling like you have to pay attention you know there may be things going on um that you you feel like you would have more of an advantage of um if you pay attention to the things that are not as obvious you know what i'm saying looking at like things that are happening around you uh, could be indirectly um just things that are going on around you at this time right now could be at work within your family um within your friends but you guys are very empathic so you pick up on energy you guys could pick up on energy easily we have share your voice come out of the cave persecution expression we have trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? You see, I feel like you guys are trying to go down. Oh, and you have star mother on the bottom. How can you mother yourself? Um, you guys are trying to go down a new path. This could be a new idea, a new business endeavor, um, some sort of new side hustle. Um, like basically uh, the divine letting you know that like we got your back you know what i'm saying make sure that you make yourself known you know make yourself recognizable who you truly are the the qualities the um star attributes that you have everyone has certain um characteristics about themselves that you know make them different everyone has their own reason um to be like their own way of being an individual you know so it's like um the divine is making sure you guys don't shy away from it you know instead face it head on face it head on be proud of it so there's water air and earth energy scorpio pisces Scor oh, scorpio pisces cancer um taurus virgo capricorn and uh gemini libra aquarius energy here all right also if you guys have been like overworking or like
like super busy you know super occupied make sure you guys take the time out to show yourself nurturing you know nurture yourself especially if you guys are mothers um make sure you're taking a proper time to like rest and you know um like have your own time you know even if that means just to drink a cup of coffee while you watch a show or something make sure you guys are taking care of yourself okay your mental health your emotional health everything all of it wow the healing heart came out so healing heartbreak toxicity or addiction abusive relationships are you guys going through some sort of heartbreak libra or someone maybe someone around you is going through that some sort of um toxic relationship that you just got yourself out of uh we have picture looking at pictures missing you nostalgia make new memories someone could be looking at photos of you libra and this could be you as well looking at photos of someone missing them hmm um, that's so funny you have the same card as Pisces. Elephant card came out, came out. That was the first card to come out for Pisces too. So you guys could have Pisces in your chart or maybe dealing with the Pisces. I think I already said that if I did, I apologize for repeating myself. <laughs> Let's see. Libra. Oops karmic relationship wow i just said after seeing the healing heart resentments triggers perception intensity letting go turmoil and fleeting so maybe something ended something has ended for you guys and maybe you guys are remaining positive because of it you know like knowing you know love comes with a risk right all love scenarios come with a risk and it's up to you, you know, is love worth it? And maybe you took that risk and now you realize it was a karmic situation. You're moving on from it, but you're moving on from it um, upholding positivity, which is very good, Libra. That's a very good way to go about, you know, any type of heartbreak, you know. Things are, uh, sometimes things are meant to be lessons, you know. Um, we have the golden mirror. So narcissist, love bombing, self-absorbed, and one-sided. This person you might, you might have felt had narcissistic uh, ways about them that you just did not like. You know, everything was always your, your fault. Or they looked at it as, you know, everything was someone else's fault and not theirs. They never took accountability for things. This could be how someone views you, Libra. Someone who likes to love bomb you. Like, a, what do you call that? Sending you a bunch of messages, you know, how they miss you. They can't live without you. They want you back. And then you go give them another chance. And then things go right down the same route again. <laughs> so it's like they just do that to have their way. To continue to have their way with you. So maybe you guys got sick and tired of it. And walked away. This could be someone who was like, you know, yes today, no tomorrow. Someone who was very um, uh, in, uh, unstable emotionally, you know, not grounded. Let's see. Oh, cards are just wanting to come out. Ace of Wands and the Six of Cups. That's good energy. Ooh, and the star on the bottom. That's wish fulfillment. There could have even been an age difference between you and this person, Libra. Also, that was a curious energy there. So, like I said earlier, could be signs heavily placed in your chart. Or you could be dealing with someone with those signs strongly placed in their chart. Okay. Oh, the Three of Swords, the first card out. What's going on, Libra? So much heartbreak cards. That's like serious heartbreak. And the Nine of Swords, jeez. The Four of Cups. We have the magician on the bottom with the seven of swords what the hell and the lovers hmm i mm. all right well 
the three of swords as the first card out we all know that that is major heartbreak um could have been either uh, finding out about a third party finding out about some sort of betrayal um some sort of disappointment um someone basically making the choice to say like i don't deserve this i don't want to deal with this you know what i'm saying but it also causes someone anxiety where they can't sleep um they're like tormented with thoughts of like what could be going on or what happened um and someone is like trying to manipulate the situation in some sort of way we have gemini energy here too like someone trying to manipulate the situation um like a sneaky like the magician with the seven of swords that's not good energy that's like a major master manipulator a master manipulator there's a lot of knights there yeah, the Knight of Knight of Swords, Knight of um, Pentacles, and which one was the other one? I think the Knight of Wands. Yep, and the Knight of Wands. Knights speak about energy, so there could be just like a lot of different energy right now surrounding you, Libra. Um, you might have broke up with this person because you felt like they were like heavily manipulating you. You picked up on it with that alligator energy, being empathic picking up on energy um, and seeing things that were not obvious but you can uh, you can clearly tell like there were indications of certain things going on you know let me see i really don't like that magician with the seven of swords like what the hell is that we got the six of cups again wow with the sun leo energy leo is here yeah either you or this person is having like major clarity someone could even be um like gaining their strength from their children you know whoever whoever of you guys that are parents you guys see you guys like you know focusing on your children and letting that be your source of happiness right now being that you guys might have faced some sort of heartbreak recently that four of cups is like Focusing on all the things that have gone wrong so far. Are you guys doing that, Libra? Focusing on the things that have not gone right in your love life. We have the reader. Clarifying the three of swords. And the star on the bottom. Hmm. Wow, the star, the hermit. Yeah, someone is in hermit energy. Um, waiting on their wish fulfillment like someone decided i'm gonna wait for what i deserve maybe you guys recently saw a reading from someone or had a reading done by someone and what they told you gave you it was like some heartbreaking news or um you know uh, you felt some sort of heartbreak because maybe there was something that was um exposed in a reading just be careful guys because sometimes you know some sometimes readings are not gonna gonna be as accurate especially when we're doing it for like the collective you know what i'm saying i understand if you get like an individual reading even though sometimes you have to be careful because people are in um different energies you know what i mean even us readers like sometimes we have things going on in our own lives you know that kind of uh, can uh, confuse the message you know what i'm saying so just be careful make sure that who you do go to for readings um you actually trust them and they really resonate with you you know with your energy so just be careful Libra. 
or this could be maybe someone sees that you guys have some sort of successful tarot reading business and it's causing someone else heartbreak that could be it too um we have the eight of swords as well in reverse the eight of swords in reverse is like no longer being stuck in your head um having some sort of clarity having direction the four of pentacles with the five of cups and the lovers gemini energy again and sag hmm either someone is having financial financial issues um or someone is just like thinking of ways on how to improve their finances right now but with that five of cups and the lovers maybe someone feels like they're not getting chosen do you have a choice or does someone else have a choice like are you waiting for someone else to choose you hmm. or maybe someone else feels like you're not going to choose them because they don't have much stability right now as far as finances let's see king of pentacles oh two cards okay wow the king of pentacles with the ace of pentacles and the lovers that's beautiful you guys could even get like some sort of promotion or someone who does well for themselves financially could offer you some sort of you know major offer could even be a work offer a gemini a taurus offer you some sort of deal or um maybe someone uh, opens up to you about their feelings for you maybe they feel like you're their soulmate or you feel like this about someone hmm. let's see judgment the king of wands calling judgment on a king of wands type of person so we all know who the what the king of wands is right um a very ambitious person but also someone who is very passionate the five of swords with the devil and the three of cups what the heck is this and the knight of wands that is not good energy sorry really not good energy capricorn energy here now five of swords is all about mental games mind playing you know mind games and crap the Three of Cups is obviously could be more than one person involved in a situation with the Knight of Wands. Someone who's uh, focused on uh, sex, you know, someone who's focused on casual hookups right now. Promiscuity. Sag energy just came out with the Ace of Wands. Oh, God. Someone could be being like patient, could be being patient when it comes to a new business venture. Getting ready to open up for you, Libra. Or someone is watching you being uh could be watching you you know grow could be watching your business growing and they're like wow libra libra is super successful <laughs> let's see the four of wands what the heck and the moon in reverse so the moon in reverse obviously is about blockages confusion um things that were in the dark are now being exposed the four of wands in reverse that's like you know um a marriage failing um i feel like this is clarity like calling judgment on something that you thought was gonna go was gonna go places actually just didn't work out you know and you're finally accepting it and saying you know what it's time to put my foot down and end this marriage or end this relationship look at this as i'm saying this the ten of swords pops out with the strength card leo energy wow yeah like it's time for me to hold on to my inner strength and move on from this knight of pentacles the Knight of Pentacles with the Nine of Swords. Hmm. If this Knight of Pentacles is someone new, 
it's like someone is anxious because they're like well is this person gonna come towards me are they not gonna come towards me hmm because they're like moving very slow they're very meticulous with how they move not wanting to rush because they want things to be successful with you libra or this could be you with the ace of cups i knew it was going to be someone new i knew it ace of cups could be a new water sign cancer pisces scorpio <clears throat> um just they're moving slow you know but that's not a bad thing the emperor just came out now aries energy hmm I feel like this emperor with the four of cups, it's like you guys are like not wanting to take any offers unless you know it's from like your like your marriage partner, you know, someone who has potential to for you to marry. Like you're not trying to go down that casual superficial type of relationship. Oh, oh man, I hate when these cards fall. Oh. These cards are so slippery. I don't even know where that card went. I'm sorry, guys. Give me one second. Okay. I found the cards, guys. <laughs> I found the cards. Okay. I'm so sorry about that, Libra. Um, yeah, so you guys are waiting for your, like, divine partner. That's it. It's like, after all that you've been through in love, you're like, all right, universe, like, when are you going to send me my partner? My divine partner. <laughs> the king of cups in reverse. Hmm. With the ten of wands and the chariot cancer energy. Yeah, you guys are going to release this burden and move forward, move ahead. You guys have things to do, goals to accomplish, people to meet. <laughs> That's what I see here. People to meet. But definitely, please let go. If you have some sort of um, master manipulator, whether this is someone from your past, like your long past from like back in the day, um, someone trying to manifest their way back into your life to like, you know, talk to you or love bomb you or tell you how much they miss you whatever please don't like entertain that because that person is not about it libra all right i just want you to make sure you know that <laughs> trying to tell you how you know oh like i'm different now whatever no 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 and that king of cups in reverse that's also um you know an emotional manipulator could even be someone who has addiction problems um could be addicted to uh drinking someone who's like emotionally abusive or someone who's like overly emotional could be like overly emotional like just too much you know like maybe this person feels like you are rejecting them and it's making them feel like, you know, overwhelmed. Like they, they're super emotional now. They're like, oh my God, Libra doesn't want me? What? Libra doesn't want me? <laughs> oh my God. But you have an emperor there. So that's good. With the Ace of Cups. That Ace of Cups is, that's great energy new love or maybe you just healing yourself showing yourself love you know oh you got the unicorn card the number 33 that's a manifestation number three success hope freedom healing and magic are all available to you if you just believe you see me bro yep i feel like you guys have been really down on yourselves that's what that's the the most prominent energy that i'm getting from this reading you guys have been really down on yourselves lately you know waiting for your mr right to come in your emperor to come in and you're like divine like this is taking a long time. I've been through so much in my love life. 
when will I be blessed with my marriage partner? I want to be married. You know what I'm saying? You guys could be like hopelessly romantic or hopeless romantic. I think it's hopeless, hopeless romantic. I think that's the way you say it. And you just want to be, you know, settled down with your person. The person who's meant for you that you guys align with emotionally, soulfully, physically, just everything, mentally. You just align with them. It's like you're waiting for this person, you know? The owl, well, Pisces got the owl too, but not in, from this deck. Um, there are spiritual messages and great wisdom to be found during this period of transition. And you have ego. You will soar towards your destiny with greater clarity and strength. That's Those are really good cards. I feel like all of them are air cards. So I feel like you guys could be either dealing with an air sign. Because being this little manipulating ass. <laughs> manipulating ass head. Um, so a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Another Libra or Aquarius. Or this could be someone who's getting ready to come in. Libra. I'm going to do the four card read. I've been trying to do this. And I think I'm in all the bonus reads, I believe. Um, I want to see if you guys like this. Um, basically, it's what you need to know, what needs to be embraced, what needs to be released, and what's next. All right. So let's see for the Libra. Let's see what we get. Four card spread for the Libra. Let's see. The lover, Gemini again. Could be a Gemini coming in. Or maybe you guys have Gemini in your chart. Alright, so we have... Um, what you need to know is the lovers. So there is a soulmate connection somewhere in your midst getting ready to come in. Um, what you need to embrace is new. Embrace the new. Okay? Embrace the new. This could be a new job. A new idea, um, just a new path in life, you know, a new person. Embrace the new, basically. Um, what needs to be released definitely is this Knight of Wands energy. So that's anyone who shows you signs of instability, in and out energy, superficial energy, um, very like narcissistic energy. Um, they're here one day and then the next day they're gone. That needs to go. That needs to go, that needs to go. There's no more of that allowed in your life, okay? What's next is the Page of Cups. We don't like pages, at least not on my page, on my channel, sorry. <laughs> not on my channel, no pages, all right? So this is what's next, but the, the page usually speaks about, could be an apology, um, could be a surprise, uh, like some sort of surprise, um, uh, what do you call that? Someone like, surprising you with a very heartwarming message you know what i'm saying so yeah that's that could this is what's next okay so at least you have something like you have a lot of things to look forward to but i'm saying this is something that clearly is, is a positive thing you know some sort of surprise or even an apology heartwarming message from someone um all right so libra's this is what I got for your bonus read. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it offered some sort of clarity or direction for you. Um, I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for allowing me to connect with your energy. Um, and thank you for subscribing. If you haven't already subscribed, please be sure to subscribe. I love the comments, guys. Like, really? So... <laughs> comment on the video um and please be sure to let me know if you like the four card spread okay all right libras until next time happy thanksgiving bye